We're here at the 2022 Copa Virginia. This is the male Nogi Absolute Division quarterfinals. We have Jamil in the black and red and Jeremy in the pink and red. In the pink and or red there. Pink and black, sorry. Pink and black. Jamil giving up a couple pounds here to Jeremy for this match, but that's what happens in Nogi Absolute sometimes. This is the cash prize division here. They were in the quarterfinals. And with a little tie up, it looks like we're ready to go again. Slapping a bump and we get started. Jeremy again in the pink and black. Jamil in the red and black with the black and white shorts. Jamil trying to go in for a takedown attempt real quick. Gets stuffed pretty handedly by Jeremy and Jamil does the right, makes the right move by stepping back out, clearing some space and not over committing to it. Shoots in for the guard pull going into half. While Jeremy still has the hand grip, let's go. Seems to be the theme of the day is attacking that Kimura on the cross side. Jamil doing a nice job keeping his frames out, keeping Jeremy away from him. Jeremy starting to crush in. High steps over, but doesn't secure the hips after high step, after the high step. Looking at the inversion now is Jamil looking to attack, and Jeremy just cutting an angle and trying to attack the back from that position. Gets through, passes the guard, stabilizes, and is awarded three points. Jeremy is setting into that cross face position, settling into to the side control after, after getting that pass. Keeping his knee in tight. Looked like he wanted to go for saddle there for a quick second, but Jared. Jamil is able to, to re-guard before setting down, setting himself back down into <laughs> Jeremy locking in the power half. Using it to control, almost gets swept over with it though. Jamil back into half guard, he looks comfortable here. Although Jeremy has some pretty nice wrist control that seems to be frustrating Jamil a little bit. We got about 4.45 left in the match. Jeremy is up three to nothing against Jamil here. Taking that underhanded grip and pushing the foot towards the butt, trying to open up the guard and pass through. Jamil punching the underhook, possibly looking to come up and attack a guillotine or just hit the sweep, abandons it and goes back. Jamil now switching strategies from that half guard, that wide half guard, into a bu uh, butterfly. He is sitting up straight, which is the position that he wants to be in, but Jeremy folds the leg over, pushes him back into that half guard position, and starts pressuring down on top of that top leg. And now it seems that the bottom leg of Jamil has been pinned, and he's looking to pressure and step through once again, but Jamil is hipping through, coming in, back up to this butterfly position. Jamil's doing a nice job trying to keep his head below Jeremy's for this butterfly. That's where he can start to really elevate, load up weight, move into some sweeps, or start to invert, which is what he's doing here now. Jeremy recognizes the inversion attempt, though, and drops his head down inside of Jamil's legs, and that stops Jamil from getting into the leg where he wanted it. Jamil's attacking the leg at this point. He looked like he potentially was gonna try to come underneath and crab ride. The weight disparity is really showing itself right now. Jeremy's settling back into side control after those inversion attempts. And they stop the action and move back to the center. Jeremy did get those three points before the, the stop action though. So now we're at 3.05 and Jeremy up six to nothing. Action resumes. Jeremy pressuring through. Just trying to collapse that, the legs of Jamil, and start to control. Jeremy really looking like he's just trying to stabilize the position, slowly work into to isolating on that far outside arm. And starts attacking the key locker, the Americana. But Jamil takes the opportunity uh, on that Kimura attempt. Ooh, it gets reversed really quickly. Oh. And it seems that Jeremy yelled, which was a verbal submission. 
referee and Jamil's coach were having some words, <laughs> but I don't. I think they were in agreement. And that was tight. That would make sense. That was very you know, tight, it and it was a very quick transition from one Kimura position to the other and then falling directly into the arm bar. A and that's beautiful the, transition. And that's the risk you take with that topside Kimura is, is that counterattack armbar. Jamil pulled it off beautifully, moves on.